Hi, Leah. You asked how to do a survey and then be able to view the responses in the class. So I think the best and easiest way would maybe be to use a Google form. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you have any questions, you can email me or call. Okay, so you would go to your Google Drive and then you would click over here on the square. And then you would go to your drive. And then over here where it says new, you would click new and then you would go to more and then go to Google Forms. It's purple. And then over here, you would give your Google Form a title. And so I would say maybe like, what are you going to do on fall break? Okay, so that would be the name of your, your survey. So then here, I always like to start with a name because then you're going to know who's talking or who's filling out the survey. So I could write, you know, name here. And then I would choose text. And then I would hit required question because then that will make sure that the students fill it out. Done. And then you can add a variety of questions. I don't know what your survey is about, but you could do text or paragraph test for multiple choice, anything like that. They have a variety of questions to pick from. So I could pick uh, maybe multiple choice. I could put, what are you going to do on fall break? So you could put option one, you could put stay in Alec, or you could put going out of state. You know, visiting friends. So then you could pick whatever you wanted. So you could repeat the process for as many questions as you have. You could even change the theme. So I could pick, you know, a fall theme since I'm talking about fall. So then this is the live form right here. This is what it would look like. And this is what you would give to your students. So you could fill it out. I'll do it right now. So I could put Sean and maybe I put I'm going out of state and then I would hit submit. Well, when you click up here on your form that you made, you could click here on view responses. And then you can see there's a timestamp over here. Oh, I must have clicked on the wrong one. I thought mine went through. Let me click on it again. There it is. Okay, so you would hit, there have a timestamp when I completed it. it. has my name and then what I'm going to do. So then this would basically generate a spreadsheet of all your responses. And you and your, and your students can um, look at this and analyze the results. So you might be asking, how would you get this form to your students? Well, you actually could do it through Canvas. So you, this is a live form, so you could just copy the link at the top. So you would just do Command C. And then you could go over here to Canvas. You could go to your course. I have a technology course. And then you would go over here to the left toolbar. I would say the best, maybe quickest way would be to do it in a page. So you click on Pages. Then you'd go to View All Pages, Plus Page. And then you could put Survey. And you could put uh, Google Form here. This is the Rich Content Editor. So this is where you could put the, the form. You could highlight it and then link to URL. Click the link to URL right here. Oh, you gonna let me? Hmm. There. Click the website to link to website URL, and then you would just copy the link here, Command V, and then insert the link. And so then the students would have access to your Google form. So you could put uh, click the link below to get access to Google form. And then you could do save and publish. 
And so now the students would click on the link and it would take them to the form that you would be filling out and then you could review the responses as a class. I hope that helps. Um, if you need any help, just let me know and I will answer your questions. Good luck.